We'll be joined by Vermont head coach John Becker and Vermont student athletes Trey Bell Haynes and Anthony Lamb. We'll ask coach to make an opening statement and then we'll open up for questions for the student athletes. Coach? Yeah, we're obviously disappointed with the loss tonight, but um, I couldn't be more proud of this team, the way they battled tonight. You know, um, it just gave everything they had against a really good Purdue, Purdue team. And, and um, I feel awful for Kurt Steidel, you know, our senior, one of our senior leaders who's our best two-way player and a really important piece to our team, got injured and, uh, you know, couldn't play the whole game for us. And that was, that was um, you know, I felt bad for him and it, it affected what we did in the second half. We had to play some lineups we hadn't played all year. Uh, but I, I got to give our guys credit. You know, they just kept battling and making plays and, um, you know, got to give credit to Purdue. That's a really good team that made, they made big shots. Uh, when they needed to uh, in the second half, late into the second half, you know, I thought Vincent Edwards really played well. Um, obviously, Swanning, and you know he's going to give you uh, the numbers he gave again tonight. Um, but Edwards played really well, and then their shooters made shots uh, when they needed to. But, um, you know, we've had a great season, a magical season. It, it, it hurts to, to have it come to an end. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm a proud coach up here um, uh, with the way our guys have played all year and how they competed tonight uh, in the NCAA tournament. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the student athletes, please. Trey, what did you guys do so well against Purdue in the first half to, to really lead for almost the majority of it? Um, I think we just we just followed the followed the game plan. I mean, I think we did in the first half, especially we did a really good job on Swanigan and um, and Haas. And I don't think Edwards really really got going going in the first half. And I think we were kind of able to stifle them a little bit. And then the difference in the second half, I think you right right out the bat, I think Edwards was was really aggressive. He got to his right hand and was making plays. And I think. I think um, not having Kurt in the second half to guard him and match up with him really, we had to put smaller guys on him and sometimes, and then slower guys on him at other times really, really helped him up. Anthony, how challenging was it to match up with Swanigan down low and just the physical presence of the, the bigs that Purdue had? Um. I really thought the biggest challenge was just like having to rotate and like in ball screens more than just matching them up in the post. I felt like I had like a lot of help from the guards like coming down in, so it wasn't really that big of a problem. It was more like on ball screens and having to stay with the ball and then get back to them. That was the biggest problem for me, really. Everything else was just like fundamental, really. Anything else for the student athletes? Trey and Anthony, thank you. Questions for head coach John Becker, please. Coach, obviously you touched on how Kurt Seidel, a big loss in that second half. What were some of the adjustments you were trying to do with his absence? <laughs> yeah, so we tried to play a big lineup and move Peyton Henson to the three. And then um, we came in with Drew, who didn't play in the first half, and tried to play some zone to give him a, a different look and, and try to shorten the game a little bit. And um, that worked fairly well. Um, and then, you know, we just, um, you know, brought Darren in and played him with Lamb and Peyton. So we moved Peyton to the three and uh, played a little bit of zone. Uh, but offensively, it became challenging because they weren't guarding Dre. And um, they were putting Haas and Swanigan on Dre and then just sitting them at the front of the rim. So it just became very difficult to score in the paint. and. You know, Dre's kind of counter to people not guarding him is he slashes, cuts really hard, and gets a lot of finishes at the rim. And when he did that, he was cutting into a seven-footer waiting for him at the rim. So kind of took his game away completely. And uh, it was like, you know, they had one extra guy on defense, and it just became really difficult to score. John, I'm, I'm sorry if you talked about this, but uh... – with Kurt, what can you tell us about his injury? It looked like they were working on his knee, or can you tell yeah. us anything specific? Yeah, he just jumped up and landed at, to contest a shot by Matthias right in front of our bench and just landed awkwardly. And he thought he felt like his knee 
kind of move to the left and to the right, you know, just kind of move too much. And uh, he knew he was hurt right away. And, um, you know, they were looking at him, obviously, at halftime. And, um, you know, I think he's with the medical people right now heading uh, to the hospital to get further evaluated, you know. But, you know, it's just devastating. You know, a kid like Kurt, that means so much to this program, that works so hard and, and just made all the sacrifices he's made in his career to get with all, with the hopes of getting to this tournament and then gets here and then has that injury happen to him just um, regardless of what it did and didn't do to us as a team and game plan and uh, how it made it more difficult as a person. I feel terrible for Kurt because um, I know how much this uh, meant to him or, or how important this was to him. So, um, you know, he's, he's, he's devastated, you know, and, and for that, I, I, I hurt for him. I'm Michael Cohen from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. With all the responsibility that Anthony had tonight on the defensive end of the floor, what did you think of the way he imprinted himself offensively and what he was able to do from a scoring standpoint? I mean, it, it, kid's unbelievable. I mean, he, you know, he played great on both ends of the court. You know, I mean, he's just, um, you know, he's a really good player. And the bigger the game, the better he plays. And played 31 minutes, which is way more than he usually plays. He battled guys that were significantly bigger than him, obviously, and um, made three of six threes, made eight of 12 shots and just battled the whole game. And, and just, um, you know, I couldn't be more impressed with him. Anything else for Coach? Right here. <laughs> Sorry if this was asked already, um, but can you put in perspective what, what this season has meant to you, your program? The, the, uh... uh, you know, I think we'll, we'll start to appreciate it more, you know, once the, the sting of this Loss goes away, but to win 29 games, um, to you know not have lost since December 21st, to win go 19 and 0 in our conference. Um, you know we've done things that no other team of Vermont has done, that no other team in the America East has done. Um, you know I think it's 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 ob it can't ever get better than this season. You know as far as in conference goes. You know and. Um, you know, the way our guys have done it, you know, and, and the energy that's, that, that is in Burlington and, and around this program and, and w what these kids have done, you know, it's, it's, um, it's really exciting, you know, and as we move out into recruiting and, and, and things like that, um, it's only going to help us uh, down the road. But, you know, this loss will sting for a little while, but, um, We've done a lot of things that no one will ever be able to take away from us this year. And for that, I'm really proud. Uh, Michael Cohen from the Journal Sentinel again. When Matt was up here a few minutes ago, he said that he thought you guys were one of the best teams they played all year, regardless of conference. Given the, the league that you play in, that there's not a lot of national exposure, what did you think about your team relative to other conferences? And did you learn anything about your guys tonight, even as well as you know them, just because of the step up in competition? Yeah, I mean. I I appreciate Coach Painter saying that, and but we are one of the best teams in the country. You know, we played Butler. That was our last loss. We lost by 12 points. I did a bad job coaching that game. We we, I don't want to say we could have won that game. It was a 12 point game. It was closer than that. I watched that film, and I was, um, I wish I had done some things differently because we played with you know, the 13th. I think the 13th or I don't know what they were at that time, but one of the you know top 20 team in the country on their court, sold out toe to toe. And, and I knew at that point we were really good. And then we went on this historic, to, to win 19 games in conference, to win 21 games in a row, I don't care what conference you're from, that, that's, it's almost impossible to do, to go 19 and 0 in league where you play everyone twice, then you gotta play three teams three times, and you have to win the conference tournament to get to the NCAA tournament. The amount of pressure these kids have been under for the last couple months, um, and the way that we've, we've lost to Houston by one point in November in a game, uh, we had won. You know, again, we didn't win. So that, but, and they're in the NIT. They were a bubble team. Um, you know, we played at South Carolina. We played at Providence. Um, we played, you know, 
they end up being double digit games, but you know, we're one of the best teams in the country. And, and uh, I was not surprised um, how we played tonight, uh, you know, matchup wise, um, you know, just with two guys that big, you know, it's just, um, it, it's hard, you know, a different matchup might be different outcome for us. That's what the tournament is for lower seeds. It's about matchups. And I said, this is a good, this is a good matchup for us, not a great matchup for us. If we got a great matchup, you know, um, I wouldn't put anything past this team. And, and, um, yeah, we, 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 uh, we were a good team this year, a really good team. And I appreciate Coach Painter uh, pointing that out. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everyone.